Well, hello everyone. This is Fancy Nancy from FancyNancyStamps.com and I'm welcoming you back into my studio today. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to be doing a card using Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, just doing something a little bit different. And then, at, please stay tuned to the very end because I have a special offer that I want to share with you that begins today. Before we get going, I want to remind you we're in the middle of summer shenanigans. And what does summer shenanigans mean? It means that I'm offering special gifts on the 20th of the month every month in, Ju in July, August, and September. So, you know, it's coming soon. Uh, our next drawing will be on uh, July, excuse me, August 20th. Um, you get uh, entries into the drawing by commenting on the video, sharing the video, uh, attending an online class or a face-to-face -face class, placing an order of $50 or more, um, bringing a friend to any of the activities I just mentioned. Uh, in general, it's, it's a participation. For every single uh, evidence of participation, I put an entry for you into the drawing. We will draw again, as I said, on August the 20th, and it's special Stampin' Up! merchandise that I know you'll enjoy. Finally, every entry that I have collected from all of July, all of August, and all of September will all go back into the pot and we'll draw for a $50 uh, gift certificate for you folks to go on a shopping spree in my store. So I hope that you will continue to participate with me. So today, let's get going on our um, Sweetest Peach. Remember, stay tuned because it's something very special to share with you and it might be just what you've been waiting for. So let's just turn our camera down here and get ready to go. As I said, we're going to be using Sweet as Peach. <coughs> Excuse me, I have such a cough today. Um, and I am going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to be using the um, Calypso Coral um, cardstock, but I'm also going to be using our Balmy Blue. They make such a gorgeous combination. Oops. Ugh. That's not good. I did a blood test this morning, so I may have had a little extra there. Okay, so so let's talk about what we're going to do. I have a piece of Calypso Coral, and it is 8.5 by 5.5, and, and I have scored it at 2 and an eighth. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I am making a gatefold card, and I like them to come together really pretty in the middle. So what I do is only score it on one side and then just bend the paper to match. And then no matter what, it is gonna, it is gonna work. So there we go. And as I said, I have cut these pieces. The balmy blue is cut at five and three eighths by two inches. So let's add those to each side. We've had a bit of a break in the weather here. As you, many of you know, the west is very, very hot right now. And um, of course, that's why we have all these fires. And um, we had just a little bit of a break. We had a little bit of rain, probably not enough to stop the fires, of course. And today is just what I would call a perfect day at about 82 degrees. But we have hot weather on its way again. So I guess we'll just have to smile and just enjoy it because what else can you do? Okay, so there's the, and now I'm gonna add um, pieces of designer series paper. This is the Sweet as a Peach designer series paper. And as you can see, it's got the beautiful little um, balmy blue flowers in it. So it just picks up these colors perfectly. So we're gonna add those to the front of our card. Yesterday we had a fabulous, fun day at the lake for my husband's office. But it was really nice to just get back home and, you know, relax a little bit today. Been working on cards and website. 
And of course my special, my special thing is gonna come up here in just a few minutes. I hope you're getting excited. I am actually. I can't wait to create my little offer for you. Okay, so I have cut a piece of, again, it's five and three eighths, and it's about two, uh, four and an eighth, and it's gonna go in the center, and again, it's my balmy blue. This is going to be a pretty one. All right, now we've got a little bit of stamping to do. And on this, I want to put some of the peaches that come in this set. Let's just take a look at that for a minute. We've got this wonderful uh, vine with the peaches on the edge. So I'm going to do that, and then I've got some great words. Now I'm gonna do the peaches from the top, I think. We'll start that, and then we'll do our words. So let's just see what we can get going. I'm using old um, olive for the greenery, the branch, and the leaves. I don't know what we'd do without old olive. It's just my go-to all the time. And I'm going to use my pad that is, we had these before to do dry embossing or to do piercing, and they're great. And they really work for this to add just a little bit of, I don't know, give so that our, our um, photopolymer stamps really get a nice image. So let's just do that. There we go. And then let's do our peaches. I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna do these here. What I've got here is Calypso Coral and in my hand, I have Poppy Parade just to do some fun little um, extras. So let's just see what we've got here. And it's always so hard to know how I'm gonna line this up. So stick with me just a minute here. Ooh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and I'm gonna take just my sponge dauber and I'm just gonna get a little bit of the poppy parade and just kind of give it a little nubbins. And then I think I'm gonna give it a little of the golden tones using bumblebee as well because there's nothing prettier than just having a peach that's just, you know, golden. So we'll do that. I'll close these up for just a minute because they're too close in color and I'm gonna get mixed up. And now let's look at our words. I have happy birthday, have a peachy day. And um, this is going to a little great niece of mine who's pretty darn special. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And ink it up using my Calypso Coral. Get it straight. My little niece lives on a farm and she loves nothing more than her hens and, and roosters. She takes such good care of them and she shows them at the fair every year. She's an amazing little kid. She showed me today all the stuff she'd re harvested from her garden, which was pretty darn amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put that up there for now. Just set this aside. We'll go ahead and put this on the inside of the card. Thank goodness we didn't need this other side or I might have been running to cut another piece. Okie dokie. So this piece of paper is just an eighth of an inch less. So th that means this is five and a quarter lengthwise and it is four across. So there we have it. Now, I've got a lot more I still want to do. So let's get this back out. 
and I want to do a, a larger peach. Once again, I've got something on that. Darn it. Oops, just a minute. I've got a big peach and I just washed it. Let me grab it. Whew, sorry. So I am going to ink this up again using my Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to do a little sponging with my Bumblebee and my Poppy Parade to get exactly what I want. So I really worked on this today to find out what was my best way to do it. And I'm going to do it this way. So there's my peach. And let's add some bumblebee right here. There we go. And let's also add a little poppy parade right here, making this true, gorgeous Georgia peach. Okay, so we have that done. We can close these up. And then I wanna do a leaf at the top of this um, Got a little piece, extra piece of paper set it aside here, and I'm going to do it in green. I have, um, well, the stamp set comes with um, dies, and there is a die that cuts out the peach and the greenery here. But I'm going to tell you, I've made a decision just to fussy cut this one because this is all I have for this particular card. When I have a bunch, I go right to those dies, but we're okay here. But I want to add this to my little medallion on the front so that my peach really looks yummy, yummy. I don't know about you guys, but peaches are in season here right now. I'm going to go up and pick this week. Can't wait. There's nothing like fresh peaches. Okay. So, it is going to go kind of like this. So, but in the meantime, I suppose bows. Well, I think I'll go ahead and attach it. As long as I'm working here. I did just use my multi-purpose glue because in those little small spots it just makes the most amount of sense. There we go. Well, let's just set this over here while we do our next step. Okay, I want this to have a belly band. So what I have done is I have cut a piece of designer series paper, the stripe, from the Sweet as a Peach um, stamps, um, designer series paper. And it is um, one and three quarters by nine and a half. And I'm going to adhere it to a blue piece. It's two by nine and a half. And I, I just wanted, oops, 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 and oops. I wanted to make sure that I had a, I don't know, um, the most colorful expression of what I'd started with. So that's what you're seeing here. And I want to make sure I've got this on nice and tight trim off my little excess paper and then I'm going to put it on a band around this card I don't want it to be too tight because I want to be able to slide it on and off but at the same time I also want it to hold it closed let me just check this yep I like that so I'm going to attach this. Well, 
lighten up the stripes. It comes from years of, of sewing. My mother always told me I had to match my plaids. Whew. Okay, so let's just slide this on. And then, hmm, if we put this in the front, we can cover it with our medallion. So let's do that. So now we're going to put this on the front. Let's do it. Make sure I make it nice and sturdy on there. So lots of, I say lots of tape, but you know what I mean. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna put our peach onto the blue. And just so you know, um, this piece is the Starburst Punch. It is now retired, but I'm going to say it again. I always say it. I hold on to my punches. If they're valuable, like they're shapes like this, I keep those no matter what. They may have come to me with another set, but this is the way I want it. This, the two circle, um, the blue circle is a two inch punch. We retired those, but we still have our layering circles in the catalog, which are dies. And so there is a two inch, and then this is a one and three quarters. And so I'm gonna put these together. I want a little blue, as you know, to show, because I want that blue to pop. And then I'm gonna use Dimensionals, our favorite product. I know I haven't told you this story yet. My very first downline was a really good customer. And one day she called me up and she said, Nancy, I need 70 packages, 70, 70, 70 packages of dimensionals to complete my Christmas cards, which were an advent calendar card. And I said, and I quickly figured, did the math, and I said, this is crazy. Let me show you how you can save money. And she was thrilled, and she's been with me, I think, since 2012, um, doing a great job, I might add. And, um, all right, I'm just gonna kind of center that. There we go. So here we go. This is our card. We all know it's the peach. We know these are all peach blossoms. Slide it off, you open it up, and it says happy birthday and have a peachy day. Okay. This card is going to be in my um, online card club this month. And um, let me, I've got some others. I'm not sure which ones are gonna be with this one, but let me show you some of the others. They all use the Sweetest Peach stamp set. I love this one, the happy birthday, have a peachy day. It's just, it just makes me happy. So there you have this one. Um, I have this one, which is a multi-layered fun card. See the vellum in there? And, the texture and the green. Oh yes, happy birthday. And again, hope your day is sweet as a peach. Doesn't this, these, don't these cards just make you happy? And this was fun. This was a new um, fun fold that I tried out this week, which says, thanks so much, sweet friend. So it's, it's got lots of interest from the little ribbons and the peaches to um, the embo dry embossed inside. So. Why am I telling you this? Well, let me tell you. Beginning today, I am offering my online card club to all of you with the first month free. Um, my card club today, and for every day, consists of a kit that involves the following things. Uh, you receive between mm, 20 and $25 worth of product that in many cases you're gonna use some of the items to complete your cards. However, I still provide you with a card kit to make eight cards. It would be two each of four designs. So I showed you four designs. So in a, on, sometimes you might have received four of these cards like this, um, two each with everything that you need. If I include the ribbon, I include jewels, 
um, everything you need to make the cards just like mine. I do not include the stamps, but I do make them available to you with no tax and no shipping. So, <coughs> excuse me, it's about an 18% discount. So once I know what my um, stamp set of the month is, which is this month, it's sweet as a peach, I let you know and you can begin placing orders for that if you would like to. Um, so I've just told you, you have um, 20 to $25 a product. You also have everything you need to make eight cards to each of four different designs. I think they're always very nice designs, ones that anybody can do, but at the same time, they're ones that you're very proud to send. Those stamp or those cards are made a little bit easier for you because I send you a PDF of instructions. And in many cases, I also have videos that I also send you the links. So you are set up to, to be successful in every way. And now I'm adding one more thing. Your first month is free. How do you find this? How do you order this? Well, if you go to uh, www.fancynancystamps.com forward slash online dash classes, and it's all right here in the Facebook uh, description. If you go there, you will see the online card club. There's actually three that are listed there, but today I'm talking about online card club, and it's the one that says start your free trial. So you will have no trouble when you find it. Um, and I, it, it's different every month. And I wanna give you an example of different every month. This last month, many of my customers have really not experienced what to do with memories and more. So I wanna show you what their card class, and I'm gonna turn my camera down again just for a minute. Their cards were all made from the uh, um, memories and more card kit that's hand pinned. For those of you who don't know, it comes with these small cards and one side is perfect for starting a card and the other side can be something that you may color, add to your card. Uh, in many cases, they're perfect for scrapbooking. But I wanted to introduce this product to my people. They also have these large, much, these are three by, these are three by four. These are um, four by six. But once again, you can see um, beautiful sayings. This one says, where flowers bloom, so does hope. The other side could, would be a beautiful card as well. So let me show you some examples of what I did. I guess I should say one more thing before we get to the examples. In our catalog, we also have card bases. And in this case, they have the pool party polka dots and they have matching envelopes. And I love these envelopes, but I will tell you, I've discovered one thing I wasn't sure about. And it's that this flap does not match every single one every single uh, card or paper. So let me tell you what my people received last month in their card club. They received a full package of the cards, the big and the small, a full package of the card bases and the um, envelopes, a quarter package of hand-pinned designer paper, and you'll see why in just a minute. And then of course their card kit, which was uh, everything they needed to make eight cards to each of four designs. So let me show you their four designs that they received. We started out with just using a basic design. I love this one, Cultivate a Good Life. And so um, I provided the paper that it took to kind of do an edge and the instructions. And when you open it up, same thing. This is an uh, old, um, saying sentiment live every moment laugh every every day love with all your heart and I did provide that for all of my clients as well it comes with all these cool little stickers to dress them up so what I would do and what I showed them how to do is this paper which they received plenty of it they would then line it um, lay it over the um, flap and, and attach it cut around the excess and then their card matches envelope is beautiful. So let me show you another example. This one is life is a garden of possibilities. I love this purple. Um, this time we took the card base with this um, polka dot and we put the polka dot on the inside. So here we have life is a garden of possibilities. 
and then when you open it up we took one of the small cards that had this beautiful medallion and cut it out and that provided everything we needed and now we've got a beautiful note card. This is another example. They were also provided with note cards because these smaller ones are perfect for our note card size. And so here is gather happy, gather happy moments when you open open up it's thinking of you this is done created with just our um, stickers and extra paper and once again they created the pretty envelope to go with the card this would be a great gift to make you know eight to ten of these and give as a gift to a friend and then this one might be my favorite live life in full bloom it's got the textured paper right here pool party to match and then you open it up and it's just it's ready to for a note, again, a little sticker inside, and we did a matching, um, we used this paper to create a beautiful uh, flap on the envelope and make it really special. So as you can see, I am really into my card clubs. I love them, I love making them for you, and I want to make sure that you know what you're getting, so that's why I'm offering the free trial, and I hope you will take me up on it. Um, it's my way to get to know you. If once I receive an order for a card club, I will immediately email you to see if you do want the um, coordinating stamp set and dies. And as I said, this month, it is sweet as a peach. And so you would get that email from me. This is a great way for you to uh, increase your supplies and at the same time also get to make beautiful cards with designs that are already, already prepared for you. Uh, for people who work during the day and, and really just don't have time for classes, this is a great way to have your, your craft class at home in your own time. And I would like to be that person for you. So let me know. I hope you go right to my website and check it out. I'm looking forward to working with you. And until Thursday at 4 uh, Pacific uh, time, I just wish you happy stamping. Have a great day. Bye.